NASA asteroid shock. Space rock hurtling inbound towards Earth spotted by planetary defense. Gersim Rand's hands of Exodus UK reports. Well, at least they've caught this one. NASA successfully spotted an asteroid that was hurtling towards Earth before it broke up into the atmosphere. A five meter object that's 15 feet. It's named 2019 MO. It was detected by the University of Hawaii's Atlas Telescope. The sighting occurred while it was 3,000. 310,000 miles away from Earth, this spotting has been hailed as a significant sign of the sophistication in planetary defense systems. As reported by Metro UK David Farnicia, who worked as a scientist for the NASA Center for Near Earth Object Study, said asteroids this size are far smaller than what we're tasked to track, because we know they're out to a uh, catch the ones that are about 350 feet in diameter. This was pretty small. He says they're so small they would not survive passing through our atmosphere to cause damage to the Earth's surface. But this event shows how capable our search programs are, even for objects of such small sizes. If the asteroid was larger, it would have the potential to cause serious damage if it passed through the atmosphere at a high speed Instead, it just caused a flash over the Caribbean Sea on June 22nd. Scientists are yet to develop ways of deflecting objects that threaten to hit Earth, despite being able to detect these rather small examples from a huge distance. NASA earlier this year confirmed that they, were, they will be building a double asteroid redirect test DART mission which will, in 2002 and 22, be tested to see if it can hit a small moonlet in the asteroid system of Didymus, those twin asteroids. The asteroids in the system pose no threat to Earth. The aim is for NASA to impact them, to knock the objects off course and away from causing harm on Earth. I think they're, from what I remember, they plan on hitting the smaller of the two, trying to nudge it away from its normal trajectory course, substantially deflecting it from its path. That would be a success for them. Now the closest the moonlet has come to Earth is 7.18 million kilometers, or four and a half million miles. That was back in November 2003. It's expected to come within a shorter 6 million kilometer or 3.7 million miles, but not until November of, one, of the year 2123. In 1998, the astronomers were fearful that an asteroid was on collision course with our planet, but further observations resulted in the warning being withdrawn. The asteroid XF11 was a huge one mile in diameter it was predicted to hit on October 26, 2028. Now we have seen tremendous signs of scars on Earth from asteroid impacts, even comet impacts all over Australia. They have at least 50 asteroid impact sites in Australia. We have so many in North America that we know of, even in uh, North Africa, the continent of Africa. That was the latest one supposedly has uh, taken place 5,000 BC, 3,000 BC, and uh, had even caused social unrest, total climate change of the tropical, lush, uh, rainy atmosphere of Northern Africa, resembling that of the Amazon, changing it to a desert area, causing economic collapse and uh, strife. And now we have the DART mission, that is scheduled by NASA, the Double Asteroid Redirect Test, DART mission for short. It's directed by NASA with support from several NASA centers, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Goodard Space Flight Center, Johnson Space Center, and Langley Research Center, and it's a planetary defense-driven test of technologies for preventing an impact of Earth by a hazardous asteroid. DART will be the first demonstration of the kinetic impactor technique. 
to change the motion of an asteroid in space. The DART mission is a phase C led by EPL and managed under NASA's Solar System Exploration Program. And the Science Mission Directorate's Planetary Science Division at NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C. The binary near-Earth asteroid Didymus, or 65803, is the target for this DART demonstration. While Didymus, which means twin in Greek, Didymus' primary body is approximately 780 meters across. The secondary body, or the moonlet, is only about 160 meters in size which is more typical of the size of asteroids that could pose the most likely significant threat to our Earth. The Didymus binary is being intensely observed using telescopes on Earth to precisely measure its properties before DART arrives. The DART spacecraft will achieve the kinetic impact deflection by deliberately crashing itself into the moonlet at a speed of about 6.6 .6 kilometers per second with the aid of an onboard camera, the sophisticated autonomous navigation software collision will change the speed of the moonlet in its orbit around the main body by a fraction of 1%, but this will change the orbital period of the moonlet by several minutes, enough to be observed and measuring, measured using telescopes on Earth. Once launched, DART will deploy Rollout Solar Arrays, ROSA, to provide the solar power needed for DART's electric propulsion system. The DART spacecraft will demonstrate the NASA Evolutionary Xenon Thruster commercial next sea solar electrical propulsion system as part of its in-space propulsion, and the next sea is a next-generation system based on the Dawn spacecraft propulsion system delivered at NASA's Glenn Research in the Center in Cleveland, Ohio, by utilizing electric propulsion. Dark, the DART could benefit from significant flexibility to the mission timeline, demonstrating next generation of ion and engine technology with applications to potential future NASA missions. So they're going to be testing the ion engine as well. Once launched, DART will deploy rollout solar arrays to provide the solar power needed for the DART's electric propulsion system. Now, the delivery will be, uh, this, this discovery was April uh, of this DART was, uh, sorry, of the Didymus was April 11, 1996. The Apelion uh, is 2.27 AU, Perihelion 1 AU, and these are various uh, details of the Didymus moonlet. DART spacecraft launch window, sorry, begins July 2021. DART will launch aboard SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Vandenberg Air Force Base, California. After separation from the launch vehicle and over a year of cruise, it will intercept Didymus moonlet September 2022, when Didymus system is within 11 million kilometers of Earth, enabling observations by ground-based telescopes and planetary radar to measure the change in momentum imparted at the moonlet. So they'll be also observing all this by telescope. And that's a test, of course, how to defend Earth by trying to move this moonlet away from its uh, main asteroid. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. 
more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.